Hi, it's Vicky here and this week I will be featuring waffle flower stamps. So let's start with the first uh, card for this week. I will be using this stamp set and the matching dies and uh, this stamp set is actually called uh, Feathermore. So first of all I am using uh, a rectangle die and I am going to cut out a rectangle and inside that uh, die I am placing one of the feather dies. So after I, decide, uh, I decided where I want this feather to go, I am going to pass it through my Sizzix uh, die cutting machine. And the idea is to create a window out of this uh, feather, so I can uh, then go ahead and create a shaker card. I am going to use this uh, feather die cut in another project. I am uh, adding some tape adhesive around uh, the cutout, and uh, now I can uh, stick the transparency. So I have a piece of transparency here, which I am going to stick uh, there, and uh, this way I have created a window. Using my scissors I have cut out the excess, and now I am going to use my tape adhesive roll, and I am going to create a wall all around that uh, die cut. This will ensure that all the bits and pieces that I am going to add inside the, that window are not going to go anywhere. I am also going to double up the tape adhesive just uh, so I have enough space for all the bits and pieces to move freely inside that window. And now I can uh, move on to stamp uh, those feathers. As you can see one of them has the matching die and I am going to stamp another, a smaller one, which doesn't have a, a matching die but that de doesn't really matter. I am going to stamp uh, both feathers using my VESA marking because I am going to emboss them by using a silver and uh, a couple of um, gold embossing powders. So as you can see here I am going to use the platinum uh, embossing powder first. And this is the bigger feather from uh, those that I am going to use. And now I'm stamping the smaller one, again with Versa marking. And I'm going to use this uh, Enchanted embossing powder, which is by Ranger. And as I am heat setting the embossing powder on these feathers, just to let you know that uh, I will be posting three videos throughout the week as I am featuring waffle flowers. So the first one is today and uh, I will be having another one on Wednesday and the last one on Friday. Also there is a giveaway on my blog, so make sure to join and enter your uh, name for a chance to win one uh, of uh, the waffle flower stamp sets. Also, there is a full list of all the supplies that I'm using just below the video in the description area if you are watching on YouTube, but there is also a full list of supplies on my blog. And as I have mentioned, there is a die that matches one of the two feathers that I have used, so I am placing it down and I am securing it with some post-it tape, so I am going to cut it out with my die cutting machine. And uh, since there isn't a matching die for the other feather, I am just going to use my uh, scissors to cut it out. Now this isn't uh, very difficult, but as I'm cutting around it, I make sure that I leave a thin white border all around, just like the other feather has. And just because I like to have my clusters in threes, I am going to stamp again with Versamark another uh, feather. So I will be stamping the small one again one more time with Versamarking. And then I am going to emboss it, but this, but this time I am going to use another uh, embossing powder. This is gold embossing powder again, but it's darker than the enchanted one by Ranger. This is actually by Zinc. And I am going to heat set it and cut it out with my scissors again. For this card I like to keep the design simple, but since uh, I love gold lately and uh, it's on red, I decided to introduce gold together with uh, silver, and uh, that's why I am using these embossing powders for the feathers. Also one of uh, my big loves lately is creating uh, shaker cards, so I am combining all in this uh, card today. And again, notice how I take my time to cut around the feather, leaving always a thin white border all around. Once I decided where everything is going to go, I am using a glue dot at uh, the top of the feather and uh, a foam uh, square at the bottom, so this will ensure that I will have a bit of dimension. 
and uh, I am going to do the same thing for the other feathers as I am going to stick them one on top of the other to create a cluster. So again I'm using a glue dot at the top and I will be using a foam square at the bottom. To finish off my cluster I will be creating a double bow by using this gold thread and I'm going to secure it at the top of the feathers with a glue dot. Inside my window I did add some silver, gold and uh, clear sequins and now I am uh, covering up the window with uh, vanilla cardstock. And now it's time to stamp the sentiment. For the sentiment today I'm using the you are the best, thank you. So these are two phrases from the stamp set. I am using Versa marking to stamp the sentiments and then I will be using gold embossing powder. So for out of the two embossing powders that I have already introduced in my card, I will be using the zinc embossing powder, which is the darker gold. And that's because I want uh, the recipient to be able to tell what uh, that sentiment says. Since the enchanted uh, gold embossing powder by Ranger is uh, very light. I have uh, heat set the sentiments and just because I don't know when to stop with my with adding details I am going to create a small cluster out of uh, the little dots that uh, come together with this stamp set and I'm going to uh, stamp with a Versa marking here and there some of the dots and then I will uh, go ahead and uh, emboss them with gold embossing powder again. And now it's time to assemble my card. For my card base I have created out of white cardstock a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am going to stick the main panel at the center of my card. And that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching.